Now, since D minor 7 comes out of the C scale, anything I play in the C scale is going to sound good. Now, I can create melody within that C scale. Now, the next chord we're going to work on now is a G. And we'll just play a G7. Or tell you what, let's play a G13. It looks like this. And let me lay down some chords here. Now, uh, anything I play in the C scale is going to sound OK. Now notice, hear the C? That's the worst sounding note. And what's the first note everybody usually starts on, or beginning students when they play C major scale? It's the note C. So don't start on that note. Start on either below it or the second note of the scale. Get the idea? Now, of course, when I play a C major 7 chord like this, but I want to play a C major 9. I've got this shape right here. Now, these are three chords that are very major sounding, unaltered sounds. Now, let me lay down this chord. Again, anything I play in the C scale is going to sound nice against it. And remember, what are the target notes that I want to start and stop on? Probably, anyways. It would be the notes that comprise the C major 7 chord. So in other words, it would be root 3, 5, 7 within the scale. Now the same was true for that dominant 7 on this G 13th. It's basically a G 7 chord. So G, uh, let's don't start there, let's use this. G, B, D, F. Those are my, that's my arpeggio. That's going to be, that's going to be my notes of the chord. Now, by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, chords are comprised of thirds taken out of the scale. So, in other words, if I have a C scale, root 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the notes that spell a C chord is C, E, G, every other note, every other note from my starting note. And I could keep playing every other note if I wanted to. And then I get some of the upper extensions like major, major 7, major 9, or 13. Hear that nice sound? The 11 doesn't sound so hot against there. That note doesn't work very well. All right. Anyway, so now I'm, I'm going to lay down a chord progression. What I'm going to play is D minor 7, or 9. To G13, to C major 7, or C major 9. And I'm going to just make some notes up, play some melody within that C scale. Anything I play within that major scale, this simple scale, is going to work. You can't make a mistake unless you play the wrong note. In other words, not part of that scale. See? Now, Many songs, many jazz standards, are series of 2-5-1 changes. In other words, in the key of C, I'm playing, I've usually got a D chord, D minor 7 chord, G7, and then a C. Actually, a lot of jazz standards only have just the 2 and the 5. So that, that might be just like something like this. where it doesn't resolve to the C chord. Anything I play, even though they never play a C major 7 chord, the D minor 
9 is part of C, the G is part of C, so anything I play in G scale or C scale will work fine.